Welcome kindergartners to the art room with Mrs. Samala. This is me. I want to tell you a little bit about myself before we get started. <clears throat> when I'm not in my classroom with my students, I love spending time with family and friends. This is my family. My husband is a teacher. My son, his wife, and my daughter all go to the College of St. Scholastica and my last daughter is still a student at Hermantown. She's a high school student. We all graduated from Hermantown, so we're all hawks just like you. The last member of our family is our crazy dog, Cosmo. He's a little dachshund. He's actually a small dog. He loves to get in trouble when he goes outside and he digs and digs and digs for squirrels and rabbits and runs around the yard in the summertime here he's in the sink getting his feet washed. And then in the winter time, he runs around and eventually snowballs collect on his belly. So this is him before he goes into the tubby to get all of his snowballs off his belly. He's a crazy dog. Sometimes he's naughty, but we still love him and he, and he brings lots of joy to our family. What will we do in art? Well, let's find out what art is all about. Usually, I will introduce an artist and their artwork to the class before we get started. And then we can think about all the amazing things that we can do in art. What is art? Well, art can be photography, or taking photos of people, places, or things. Art can be sculpture. This is a huge sculpture of a little boy playing in a puddle. Art can be drawings like this crayon drawing by the famous artist Pablo Picasso. Art can be furniture. Look at all these cool bookshelves made in all different kinds of ways. Art can be paintings. These boys are playing crack the whip, cool. Art can be clothing. This is unusual. This dress is made all out of balloons. Art can also be weaving and that's working with strings and fibers and clothing. Art can also be architecture, that's making buildings. This is a huge, enormous church. People make art. Well, why do they do that? Sometimes it's to tell stories, like about these people that live on a river with all these amazing boats long, long, long ago. Sometimes it's to share feelings. Sometimes it's to make things look special, like this bowl is all decorated. Sometimes it's to remember special people. Or special times. This is a great painting about Thanksgiving and getting ready for the big day. Art can be huge. This is a sculpture of a woman. So that's a huge sculpted head. And there's two sculpted knees that the artist put in the water. And then people can drive their boats up to it to go see the sculpture up close. Or they can stand on the railing and look at the sculpture. It looks like this. there's a giant woman that's swimming in this little pond. Art can be super tiny. This is a miniature dollhouse. In this picture, it looks big, but this is the woman actually cleaning out the dollhouse so you can see how tiny everything is. People everywhere in the world make art. In Japan, this is an example of an artwork that I have in my classroom. It's called Crow and Heron. It's two people walking and they have all their special Japanese clothes and um, their umbrella as well. I love their shoes. Here's another example from South America, a totally different place in the world. And this artist likes to use big, bright, bold colors and shapes. All artists from all over the world um, are making art in different ways. 
artists choose their materials, wait, what are materials? Well, materials can be paint, excuse me, paper. This is paper, but the artist didn't draw on it. They cut it out to make a sculpture. Art can be made out of glass. That's a material to work with. We won't work with it in my classroom, but we can look at it and it's so beautiful. And art can also be made out of anything. This is garbage or recycled materials and it's made into a lizard. That's a great way to use recycled materials, make art out of it. Art can also make us feel. We can feel love. We could feel joyful, like these shape people that are dancing. We could feel curious. Why does that turtle have a tree with butterflies on it? Amazing. Art can be so many different things. And we're going to find out in this class, what is art to you and what do you like to work with?